Welcome back Guardians to another Destiny video and in this video we are going to be looking at the best way to cheese the bridge on hard mode. Um, it can be cheesed and it can be made very very easy and you can do it very very quickly. But what you need is a hunter that can go invisible and is very very capable at doing so. And a couple of warlocks who can resurrect who have snipers and such things. And it's exactly like how it used to be except you can't revive anyone else. That's why it's good to have a couple of warlocks to snipe across and take down the ogres. So what you do is you basically do the bridge as normal, get the first sword bearer down and have the hunter go across. Now what the hunter is going to do is stay on the right hand side and keep going invisible and moving around while invisible. He is then going to go backwards and forwards onto the totem poles and keep it active on that side. But what's going to happen after he crosses is everyone's going to die including the warlocks. Hopefully the warlocks have got the ability to revive themselves and they have their supercharged charged. At which point you will, when they all die, you will summon the ogres and the hunter is then in effect, he has to do what he's doing. So he's just going to dodge everything, hide from everything and wait for someone to call out that the totems are going red, the annihilator totems and he's going to run to one, the totem on the right, step into it to um, disable it and then step out of it and hide again. While he's doing that the ogres come out and then the two or three or one warlock, however many you have, resurrect and snipe the ogres from across the other side of the bridge. This will literally take them down instantly and we've done this many times and it does work but it's the fact of just trying to find more than one warlock if you, if you don't want to wait too long for one guy to snipe across. But it is a very very easy way to cheese the bridge on the hard mode. Not that it's difficult anyway but if you want to save a lot of time and you want to do it this way it definitely definitely works. So I hope this helped you guys get through the bridge a little bit easier on hard mode. If it did, drop a like, leave some comments, leave some feedback, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.